Well, greetings to you. This, uh, this is Jemima, our dog. She's only a baby, really. She's a miniature dachshund, or more commonly a sausage dog. She's a bit sleepy this afternoon, so she might fall asleep on us. I wonder if you've got any pets yourself, maybe a dog or a cat or something different. Well, our story today is, is about animals, and in a minute uh, we'll find out what the story is all about. But first, why don't we pray for our time together? Shall we pray, Jemima? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time together. We offer it to you, and we ask that you will be with us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, the story today uh, is about Noah's Ark. It's uh, the time this week I'm going to set you a challenge to see, while we're watching the video, to see how many animals you can spot during the course of the story. And at the end, we'll see how many you've got and which animals you manage to see. Now, your mums and dads might be able to help you by pausing the video for you in one or two places. Story of Noah's Ark. Stories of the Bible. Noah and the Flood. This is Noah. Hey! Noah was a good man who tried to do the right thing. Yeah! But in the time when Noah lived, he was the only man on earth who was doing the right thing. All the other people on earth were doing evil things and hurting each other. This made God very sad. So God said that he was going to send a flood to the earth that would destroy every living thing on earth because he was sorry he ever made them. But God decided to save Noah and his family. God told Noah to build a boat and fill it with two of every kind of animal and bird. Colored, bird, moth, okay, all here. Noah did just that, and then Noah and his whole family boarded the boat and waited for the flood to come. The rain fell hard for 40 days and 40 nights. Water! Water covered the whole earth, and the boat floated safely on the surface. Water covered even the highest mountains on earth, but Noah and his family were saved. God remembered Noah and all the animals on the boat. God sent a wind to blow across the earth and the flood began to go away. After five months, the boat came to rest on a mountaintop. A few months later, the other mountains could be seen. 40 days later, Noah opened a window and released a raven. The bird flew back and forth until the flood had dried up. He also sent a dove out to see if it could find dry ground. But the dove couldn't find a place to land because there was still water on the ground. So the dove returned to the boat. Oh, hello again. After another seven days, Noah sent the dove out again. This time, it came back with an olive leaf. Oh, good girl so Noah knew that the flood waters were almost gone. A week later, he sent the dove out again, and it didn't come back. So many months after the flood began, Noah opened the covering of the boat and saw that the ground was drying. He waited two more months, and at last, the earth was dry. Then God said to Noah, Leave the boat, all of you. Release the animals so they can be fruitful and multiply throughout the earth. Okay! So Noah, his family, and all the animals finally left the boat. See ya! Noah built an altar to the Lord to make a sacrifice to God. God was pleased with Noah's offering and said to himself that he would never again destroy every living thing on earth. God blessed Noah and his sons and promised them that he would never send another flood. He gave them the rainbow in the sky as a sign of this promise to Noah, his family, and all of mankind. So 
so how many animals i wonder did you manage to spot i think i saw 21 animals you may have got that many you may even have got more i'm not sure i've missed one or two so let's have a look shall we you can hopefully see them uh, on the screen there's elephants and lions and sheep and foxes monkeys donkeys chickens pigs camels birds giraffes rabbits mice zebras goats cows or bulls ostriches that big birds i'm calling them ostriches you may have called them something different horses ravens doves and chicks well if you manage to get all of those then you've done amazingly well and if you manage to spot some that i didn't then you've done uh, even better well that story of noah's ark um, reminds me of lots of things but it reminds me of just how much variety god has made in creation and how much god has given us and i think if we come to think of it we can all think of many things that we have that we can be grateful for whether they be our animals our pets or our families our friends our schools our teachers or those material things that we have our food our drink our homes our warmth and our um, fellowship together our safety why don't you give some thought now perhaps with the person next to you or in your class or you might want to make a list why don't you think of all the things that you have to be grateful for in your life Well, let's bring before God in prayer now all of those things that we have to be thankful for. So let's put our hands together and close our eyes. And if it's a prayer that you want to make your own, then you can join with him in with the Amen at the end. Dear God, we thank you for the story of Noah and the ark. We thank you that God made and then protected all of those animals on the ark. But we thank you for everything that we have. We pray, Lord, that you would help us to be grateful. We thank you for our friends, our families, our school, our teachers, our friends. All those material things that we have, our food and our drink, warmth and safety. And we pray that you would help us to be good stewards of those things that we have that we can use them for your praise and glory. Amen. Amen. Well, really good to see you, um, and I hope to see you again soon. In the meantime, I'm going to leave you with a song. It's called Giants of Faith. I hope you enjoy it. Go well. Different shapes and sizes Life is full Of many surprises But one thing stays the same And Jesus is on my side I don't need to be afraid I don't need to run and hide When I open my Bible It's clear as can be the God that I read about's with me And I'm going to be a child of faith Like Moses and Joseph Daniel, Esther, Rahab and Ruth No denying the truth The giants of faith are like David Elijah Noah and the rest of the team I'm gonna be 
a giant of faith I'm gonna be a giant of faith Every day We always stick together Hand in hand Through every adventure If I'm playing with my friends Or when I go to sleep I know you are always there And angels are watching me When I open my Bible It's clear as can be The God that I read about's with me And I'm going to be A giant of faith Like Moses and Joseph, Joseph. Daniel, Esther, Rahab, and Ruth No denying the truth The giants of faith And like David, David. Elijah, Elijah Noah and the rest of the team I'm gonna be A giant of faith I'm gonna be a giant of faith By faith I can do anything By faith I can do Anything by faith I can do anything through Christ By faith I can do anything by faith I can do anything by faith I can do anything through Christ Like Moses and Joseph Daniel Esther Rahab and Ruth no denying the truth the giants of faith and like David, David Elijah, Elijah, Noah and the rest of the team I'm gonna be a giant of faith I'm gonna be a giant of faith